Hi everybody, this is Robert at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we're going to show you how to connect some external services to your KW Command account. The services include Facebook, Twitter, MailChimp, your eEdge account, and even your Gmail and your Google Calendar accounts to keep track of what contacts you're keeping in touch with, uh, what contacts you have appoint appointments with, keep track of managing ads on social media systems, and then even bringing in your contacts from your eEdge database. Now I do want to point out before we begin that not all of these services are going to be available to everybody. Only certain labs participants get certain features and right now these are the features that I have currently and you may have additional features that I don't have and you may have some features or you may be missing some features that I have and you don't have. So um, just keep that in mind as we move forward. So to get logged into the KW command system we're going to go to login.command.kw.com. So that's three dots in there. Login.command dot kw dot com and you're going to log in using the same information you use to log into my kw dot kw dot com just like for the kw app just like for kelly it's the same username for all of those systems and the same password Once you're here in KW Command, you'll see this notice dashboard coming soon. That's not where we're going to be currently, but over on the left, you've got your contacts here. You've got your ads dashboard right here. Um, you've got, what is this, KW Connect groups here, and then this is a map of listings that are going to be in your area. I'm actually not going to show my map here. Instead, what we're doing is up in the very top right corner here, just to the right of where your name is, we'll click on this little settings. Uh, looks like a couple of equalizer bars in here. We'll click on that. And then in here is where we're going to see our connected apps, our connected accounts. And you'll see we've got Facebook, Twitter, Google AdWords, Gmail, Google Calendar, uh, MailChimp, and then eEdge. So uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Ads are going to be managing your ads that you post on these different platforms here. You can actually manage those from inside KW Command once it's fully all set up. Uh, for Gmail, this is syncing interactions with contacts in your database. So if you send an email to somebody in Gmail and that person with their email address is in your KW Command database, Command is automatically going to link that email that you sent back and forth with that contact in your KW Command database. You don't have to have separate messaging systems from Gmail to your database. They actually come together here via KW Command, uh, where previously in eEdge you had your eEdge messaging system and you had your regular email and they didn't talk to each other at all. You've also got your Google Calendar here and you can uh, create meetings and automatically sync them with the contacts that are in your KW Command database. So it connects to your Google Calendar and if you've got a meeting with so-and-so who is in your KW Command database, it'll note that, that you've got a meeting with that person in your database and so it just connects that way as well. MailChimp, you can manage your drip campaigns and your mailers uh, that are inside your MailChimp account through KW Command and then you can also connect your eEdge account to Keller Cloud which includes KW Command as well. Now for each of these over on the right we've got this button that says connect account and it's really really easy for any of these uh, accounts here. I'm going to be connecting this to Gmail for now. I'm going to connect it to my KW email And I've got two-step authentication turned on on my account, so I'm going to have to go do that on my phone here. There we go. So now it wants, um, <clears throat> excuse me, permission to view, send, and delete your email, manage your messages, and view your calendar. So you want to tell that allow. And then we'll be back here on the KW command system. And now we've got Gmail connected. So if I've got a contact in my database here that I've sent emails to, it's automatically going to note that interaction on that contact here in KW command. We're also going to connect Google Calendar here real quick. And since I'm already signed into my Google account, I just click on the one that I want. And we'll allow that to view my calendars again. And so now as I create uh, events in my Google Calendar that mentions so-and-so in my uh, KW command system, it'll automatically sync that with their contact record. And if I'm viewing a contact in my KW command database, I can click create an event and it'll pop me over to my uh, Google Calendar here and I can create an event with the name of that person attached to it. Um, I can also connect to MailChimp. I don't have a MailChimp account here, but it's really easy. You click connect account, you sign into MailChimp. You can also connect your eEdge account. And now as far as I can tell, this is not going to be 
connecting my eEdge account to or it's now for the time being as far as I can tell this is not actually bringing the contacts over from my eEdge account into my KW command I had this going for a couple of hours and it didn't actually bring anything over so I'm not sure exactly what this system is doing right now but it's probably a good idea to go ahead and connect your eEdge account to your KW command account Oh, oops I already connected that and I clicked disconnect so that's uh, where you can find the different accounts that you can connect to your KW command system. If you have questions about that, feel free to shoot us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com.